Uh, let's see. Let's do the guy holding the white thing there. What are you going to review Sonic Underground? Fuck you! That was my question! <laughs> talk about them unless I have some idea what they're where they're coming from and what it's about and so on and so forth. So uh and no I have no plans to uh, review that. I'm sure it's terrible. <laughs> you know, but uh, I I don't know why I've seen it. Uh we have the uh, Red Beret. What possessed you to review uh Tunnel of South of Room? What me to review the room? Um <laughs> really everyone else is one I had didn't have much desire to see it, just everybody you know maybe, with the 
to say people unless it's something like, okay, you, you can't, I can't overlook this. Like, I knew I wanted to do a crossover with Brent, but I heard Lindsay was going to do a crossover, you know, everyone's going to do Moulin Rouge. It's like, she lives right next to Brent. I'm just like, okay, I have to do that. She can sing, and she's musical, and <clears throat> yeah, their opinions were similar. Or same thing with, like, uh, you know, the Star Trek thing. It's like, Louis is so obsessed with Star Trek, it just it'd be a crime not to include him in here. So it's, unless I'm really forced to do a crossover uh, again with someone, I try not to repeat them. But sometimes you can't help them. Maybe there's something that's inevitably, you know, one for the three schmuck You never know. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, one here again. Okay. Um, how do you get from this? I actually have to get from this being Yeah, I'll say it. How do you pick your reviews? Like, how do I pick my reviews? Uh, half of it is just, you know, hey, I want to review something I just really think I can get a lot of material from. Uh, the other half is just, you know, the people recommendation, you know, on the forums and emails and stuff like that. It has to be something I'm familiar with, though, definitely. Uh, it's very rare that I'll do something just total cold turkey. Unless it's a movie. If it's a movie, I can usually do that. If it's like a show, I can't do that cold turkey. I have to have some idea. What's your question? I was frozen today! <laughs> Christ! Uh, let's see, let's do uh, another guy with the head. Hello. Hey, um, two questions. First off, are you or anybody at that guy with the glasses ever going to review the uh, 2000 car captors stuff? Um, the 2000 what? No, car captors, the. Oh, uh, car captors? Uh, I, I'm not, because I didn't grow up with it, I'm not familiar with it. So. Yeah, I think it's pretty funny. Second, uh, Or a Louis, or 
this or I see our stuff I really like. Um, and Brad's stuff I try to keep up with, but him, like, every day he has a big brand. It's just like, God, I can't keep up. Um, you know, and, and that's part of it too, is just some of these people, you know, some turn them out, you know, like once a month because that's all they can do. Others are just like every other day and you just can't keep up. So, uh, uh, I'm sure there's others too, just to the top of my head that they're not ringing, but I mean, it, it's one of those, I try to keep up with as many as I can, but those are the ones like, when I see somebody looks interesting, I'm like, no, oh, I definitely want to see this, I definitely want to keep up with it, you know, because they either have more opinions or I like the way they say it. Uh, let's do, uh, creepy parrot one. Yeah, with your creepy parrot. The person has a creepy parrot on the show. <laughs> Uh, a little louder, Adrian. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I don't really know much about you besides... Oh, you're the other one! We found the two! Besides the fact you're funny as hell. But, what do you think? But, what's the story, what's the deal behind a uh, bad credit card? Oh, what's the bad credit card? In the movie Batman and Robin, the, the, the George Clooney pulls out a bad credit card. I just say, like, that's the death of Batman, that's the, you went too far, you totally killed it, I just had this big outrage and whatever. And then Lewis kept it going in his reviews. Uh, he'd always say, bad credit card. That just caused me to say, I'm like, oh, bad credit card! No, bad shit, crazy, no fucking bad. That's pretty much a story with that. Uh, let's do, uh, whatever you're pulling up there, a yellow thing. Um, two questions. One, have you ever caught any uh, flag from an original creator of anything that you've ever reviewed? <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely say one, yes. <laughs> Nostalgia critic, if you ever run out of nostalgia material. Oh, I'm not even joking. I mean, it's just like once I run out or once I feel we're done or there's material dying out, we'll get rid of them. I mean, it's like we, we got other ideas. We have other, you know, shows and stuff like that that we want to throw all our energy into. It, nostalgia critic was the biggest hit and the most fun to do. Uh, you know, so we started doing that, but you know, no, we're not getting that forever. Uh, you know, we don't want to get. Tired and stale. We don't want people to say, "Oh, please stop, stop." You know, we're done. You know, so when we feel we're done, you know, we'll, we'll you know, whatever have a meteor hit them or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and go into whatever the next the show is. And we do have we do have a few ideas for like new shows that we're just sort of like we're almost itching to get to, and we're just like, "Oh man, we're already sort of talking about ideas for it." And we're just like, oh, "Wait, wait, let's wait, let this guy be grand scores." Um, but it, it definitely be something that we want to make uh, it's something else like a major show as well. So at some point, you know, we'll. Get a sassy or something. And then, uh, in terms of was there any, ever anybody that uh, really went after me for uh, uh, reviewing something? It was so did go after me. Uh, or, or at least it was it uh, John from the room movie.com or something like that. It's just like, you know, of course, it, his accent came through the email, which was fascinating. Um, you know, just, oh, hi, no, you, you I saw, ha ha ha, what was going on? And so we took it out for a bit, and uh, we went to a lawyer and said, can, can you get us for this? And he's like, he can sue for anything, but, you know, the law would be, you know, you know a great chance of winning, you know, what if he would have. Like, oh, okay, just put it back up, never from him again. <laughs> so, um, that's the story with that. <laughs> that's really about it. Well, I did have the, um, I had the uh, daughter of the creator of Doug contact. <laughs> 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 that was pleasant. Uh, she, she was very, very nice, and she sent a, uh, she sent a saying, uh, you know, hey, I, I watch your stuff, I love it, it's a lot of fun, here you're reviewing uh, Doug's first movie, uh, coming up. Uh, just that uh, my dad worked very, very hard on it, and it was always his intention to please the fans and stuff like that, and I, I sent a nice email back just saying, you know, look, I, you know, that's fine, and, 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 and he's a character, it's not true, it's a character, I just yell and scream, I don't, anyone who likes something, I'm like, yeah, I don't care. You know, I'm not going to think less of anybody. You know, I, I sort of have, it didn't do much for me, but that, that's just me. It doesn't mean, you know, it's a bad show, your dad didn't work hard on it, you know. So, uh, you know, yeah, I continue uh, hearing people that embrace it or like it. You know, I'm glad people do like it. And, yeah, no problem. I've never back, you know, but you know, hopefully she was okay with it. So, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, let's see, let's see someone up here. The, you know, Pac Man coming over there. Thank you. Well, I was going to sleep. <laughs>
No, that, that looks awesome. I love the, uh, the Miyazaki stuff, of course I love. Um, I, I think I said in one of my, I was talking about my top 20 favorite movies, I was talking about Spirited Away, it's like, I get jealous of Jim Lee, that's what I like, it's just like, <laughs> oh, I, I want to make this stuff, this is brilliant, this is the stuff, you know, I like these original stories and original ideas, you know, but they, it's, Spirited Away is sort of like Alice in Wonderland, but it's new, it's not Alice in Wonderland, it's doing something on its own and different and unique and it's creating its own, uh, you know, characters and sort of mythologies, and I love that, I love new stuff, I, I love, you know, these sort of, uh, you know, old patterns, but with new ideas, and, and Ghibli does a lot of that, and I love it, less and more of that, I'm done with Spurs and Transformers and shit, you know, <laughs> new stuff, come on! So, uh, I, I love it, uh, I, I hear, I'm hearing more like you're in financial trouble, this Marlowe's movie better do good, and stuff like that, go see it, I, I want to make more stuff, <laughs> so definitely go check it out. What's your other question? I, I can't, I'll, I'll tell you what, you want me to scream at you and say, I can go up here very fast. I can just go up here and just say, hi, how you doing? You little girl sucking whore! I'll kill you! I'll kill you in your sleep and find you! I'll find you and rip your head off and go this! Woo! Somebody else should be more here to him. Let's see, a guy standing up. Yeah, you 